So it's been a week since Stable Diffusion 3 was out and I decided to take some of the sample images shared by Stable Diffusion 3 and recreate them on DALI to see which model performs better. To be honest, I'm surprised at the fact that it seems Stable Diffusion 3 is better and I'm not going to waste your time running prompts. I've already ran all the prompts. I'm just going to show you the comparison of the output, which is exactly why you came here. Now, just a quick overview. This is something I'm going to be trying out next. Basically, you can generate videos like these. And I don't think this is as good as Sora, but this looks very, very good. And you can do this sort of generation on stable video diffusion, which is an open source model. And maybe at some point, this will be better than Sora. The same model that went viral a few weeks back. So let's get on with it. And this is the first image we will be looking at. You can see there's a wizard trying to or some sort of stable diffusion 3 text on top. So I tried this on DALI 3 and honestly, it's not that good. The only image that kind of shows any sort of text is this, but it only shows three. So if I compare this with this, obviously this has done a way better job than this. Next, I tried generating this go big or go home image on DALI 3. To be very honest and to be fair, it did a better job and in scenario like this i think it did a fine job than what it did here this one seems way more realistic while this one seems a little bit more cinematic which is exactly what we had added in the prompt so i would say this is the better image than the one generated by you know stable diffusion team here or stable diffusion 3. the next image i tried generating is this weird image with stable diffusion written on the bottom left here, you can see there's an astronaut trying to ride a pig with a pink frog. And then there's the there's this weird sparrow with a magician's hat. I wouldn't call it bad. The generation was okay. The only thing that it messed up across is that it does not have text, which is exactly what stable diffusion 3 has done well. You can see there's the text here. Obviously, there is text here and here, but you can see the spellings are not correct. While there is text here, the overall image does not look good. While this image looks good, there is no text. If I, if you zoom a little bit more, you will be able to find the text, but it's not correctly written. So I'd still say stable diffusion did a better job. Though. Then I tried this image of a chameleon and honestly, it's not too bad. It's just that stable diffusion's generation is better than the one that you see here. This one seems way more realistic. I'm, I'm going to say this is like a draw for me. Both of the images look fine. This one just has more color than this. Next to the famous flask problem, you can see red, blue and green and one, two and three. So the order and numbers are both important here. And I have to say the generation is fine. Red, blue and green across it seems. And then the numbers are done fine as well. So I would say this is here. DALI has done a better job primarily because it generated four images and all four images have the correct info. So none of this is cherry picked. It can do a better job here. Next is image of a 90s computer with SD3 written on the background. And this is how the generation looks like. I mean, the computer is fine. It's that the text is not correctly aligned. From the standpoint of a computer, I think these images are better. Uh, let's say this one. This one is relatively better than this one computer wise. Just that the, if the text was correctly written, then this would have been a better image. Then I tried this image where a race car has faster written in the background with SD3 written on the car. That's an important detail. And you can see this is how the image looks like. While uh, the image generation is fine, this one comes close to having some sort of 3 or SD3 written in the image itself. Again, honestly, this one is way more realistic and better. So obviously, you know, Stable Diffusion 3 did a better job here. Next, I tried this image of a starry night with Milky Way visible. and. This is how the generation on DALI 3 looks like. Now, this seems like a relatively common generation, to be honest. But for some reason, I see sun here, 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 and here. And in this image, there is no sun. Clearly, I don't think we wanted to see sun. Rather, we wanted to see a dawn of twilight. I think that's what we were looking for. Anyway, so Stable Diffusion did a better job here. Then next, I tried this image of a horse trying to balance itself on a ball. You can see the horse itself is struggling to balance. Now, while Dali did a fine job, none of these images seem to be an image where a horse is trying to balance itself. Like first two images, the horse is very comfortable. The next two, it's kind of showing tricks. What we needed to show was that it's trying to balance itself, which is what SD3 has done here. And it seems to have done a better job. Then I tried this image of a newsstand saying it's here and the generations are fine. It's just that I don't understand why this lady was here. 
but these generations look okay especially these two so i would say both the models did a fine job there and i think these are all the images that were shared by the model i missed missed one image so if you if you look at this image good night with a you know some woven tiger on the image and then there's a candle here i think it did a fine job here you can see the good night is written fine there was no effort but there is no face right there's like the entire baby tiger here but again we mentioned baby tiger not the face so and then there's the person here which wasn't in the prompt anyway so overall the image is fine it's not too bad now if i look at my thoughts with respect to all the generations that dali 3 has done at sea stable diffusion 3 is doing better and especially it being an open source model this poses a huge threat to dali 3 overall because in a few months we will all have access to this and imagine like i know it will cost you gpus to run the model in either locally or on cloud but you don't have to rely on one paid model to do your generation now note that this model can also be uncensored and trained for your own use cases it will still generate similar quality images for you so that's a great news an open source model for me being independently able to generate things the way i want to something i should be definitely looking forward to and that's all like i said i'm not going to waste too much of your time I'm just going to show you all the comparison with respect to everything that i found online and actually try generating and comparing some of the images that were shared by the team itself now when the model actually comes out i'm going to be setting it up locally and i'm going to run it with you guys we'll take some of the prompts you know i'll start a thread take some of the prompts from you guys and we'll run it locally together but overall to be very very honest the generations are awesome my mind is absolutely blown i know i'm a bit late for this video but i just wanted to kind of at some point compare how dali 3 does versus the stable diffusion 3 which is a paid model so i just wanted to see how stable diffusion 3 does being an open source model with the paid model like dali 3 when dali 3 came out our minds were blown right because the images that were generated just seemed way too advanced than even mid journey but now we have an open source model that is the most advanced model right and you know there are speculations that if this becomes you know mainstream this can pose a huge competition to even sora because effectively what is happening on sora is that it's kind of taking images animating those images by adding or generating multi multiple frames by maintaining the consistency if this becomes mainstream and if more you know more users try to build on top of this using the same technical framework that sora follows this will become a better model overall honestly